Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can trim a Zoom recording. Now trimming is limited within Zoom, but I will show you what's possible and then mention some options of how to edit or trim outside of Zoom. Let's get started. So I'm logged into Zoom and you want to select recordings. Now I'm looking at the cloud recordings which have been recorded and saved out on the cloud. If you have any local recordings, then you would have to navigate to that MP4 recorded Zoom meeting on your local computer. So I'll go ahead and select one of these recordings. Once you have the recording selected, before I mention the trimming of the actual video itself, you can also edit the title of the recording and also edit this description here. Next, you want to click on the play button to open up the video. Now, depending on the size of the video, it can take a moment or two to load so that you can actually see the video and determine where you want to trim it. Next, you want to select the scissors icon to trim. Now, in Zoom, you'll only be able to trim the beginning or the end. You will not be able to trim in between or in the middle of the video. Now, if the video is black as shown on my screen, then just cancel that and click like maybe towards the end of the video until it loads and then you'll be able to see the actual video. Now, I've recorded this and I have a lot of excess in the beginning and I've determined that I want to trim it at around two minutes. So you'll want to click on the bar here and position it where you would like to trim it. And I did leave a lot of excess at the beginning here while I was waiting for everyone to join and I joined a lot earlier. So I want to actually get this timer down to where there's about two minutes, which is where we start speaking. So that's a good spot for me to trim. So I'm going to just note that I want to trim it at around 8.53. So I'm going to click the scissors icon and then I'm going to trim it at about this location. Okay, and then at the end, I don't have too much to trim, but I'm just going to trim a few seconds. And next I'll click trim. While it's trimming, viewers with access to this recording will not be able to view it. And I'll click trim. So it's still in the process of being trimmed and you'll notice this message at the bottom while the trimming is in progress. One thing to note after it's finished trimming, even though the video is trimmed, it doesn't actually remove the beginning and end parts to the best of my knowledge. It's just showing the viewers how you trimmed it according to the playhead, but if anybody downloads it, then it would download the full video. And while we're waiting, I just want to mention that since Zoom is limited in how you can edit it, if you need to edit it further, Back on the main Zoom screen, you can also download the video and then once downloaded, you can import it into a third-party app. Personally, I use TechSmith Camtasia to create my training videos and I've also imported MP4 files, uh, recorded files from Zoom, and then you are free to edit. Uh, in the middle of videos, you can add annotations, you can replace voiceover, um, you can do practically anything in the more robust editing apps. But in Zoom, you are limited to trimming the beginning and the end. So you'll want to monitor the progress while it's trimming. And once it's finished trimming, the trimmed version will then be available to any viewers who have access to the video via Zoom. So next I'd like to show you the results after it finished trimming. So the original file was about one hour and six minutes and that was a total of 
188 megabyte, including the presentation, which was 128 meg, and the audio only, which was 60 meg. So after the trimming, I trimmed it down to a little over 57 minutes. That brought the total uh, megabytes down to 162 for the presentation, which then was 110 megabyte and the audio only a 52 megabyte. So once completed to share your trimmed video, you wanna click on this share button and then you have several options. You can copy the shareable link and then you can set it to who can view, which could be everyone with the recording link, signed in users and so forth. You can also share it with specific people and if you click on share settings, you could set an expiration date. You can check this box if you want to allow viewers to download or uncheck it to not download. Decide if you want viewers to register to watch and also set a passcode. When finished, click save. And that's all there is to editing, trimming, and sharing your Zoom meeting recording. If you found this video helpful, Go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.